All right, we are now at sheet DV1, and here we need to make drop down cells. So, for example, you want to make a tracker like this. So, let me just put some borders into our report. And let's say you want to make sure that the data that is being entered on the tracker is are all correct. So something like this. You could make drop down so that the user will only select based on the list. It prevents errors from happening. So people will just select from the drop down. And for that, what you need is data validation. So there are two ways that you could create data validation. First is your list is also in the worksheet and the second one is when the list is not in the worksheet so let's do the first one where the, the list is in the worksheet so I will highlight the cells that I want to have drop down go to data and then look for the data validation button it should be a green check red circle button click it then you should have the data validation dialog box. Settings, it says allow any value. You need to change any value to list. So allow list. And then for the source, you will have to go to the cells where the values of the dropdown is located. So I will highlight these values. If you intend to add more, it may be best to highlight more than just the cells that you have here. So let's say later on you're planning to add some more uh, options so you could highlight more cells than you need. But for now, I'll just highlight these cells, click OK, and you're done. You now have drop down in your report. So the person or the users can just select from the values in the drop down cells. Now that's the first method. The second method is when you do not have a certain list to highlight for the drop down so let's say here it says add a drop down containing the values yes and no so you want a drop down here saying yes or no since we don't have any list it's okay that's fine just highlight the cells go to data data validation again we're back here settings it says allow any value no, we will not allow any value. We only have a list of values allowed. And that would be yes, comma, and no. So you could type it if you want. Just separate them by commas. Then click OK. And now you also have a drop down containing yes and no. Again, two methods, two ways. First, let's say highlight A4 to A17, go to data, data validation, allow list, your source would be the cells that you have here. You could highlight more than what you need, click OK, because if you've highlighted more than what you need, there's option here that you could add some more. So let's say I will add another one, so maybe I want another car type so let's say I have this and if I go to the drop down it should also have that option now second option is when you don't have a certain cell like this so you just have to type it directly on the source field so data data validation allow list and then type it separate them by commas click OK and you now have drop-down cells.